Welcome to WISIS Forum 2018. I'm delighted to be joined by Ms. Doreen Bogdan-Martin, who is Chief of ITU Strategic Planning and Membership Department. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Great to so be here. Fantastic to have you here. So it's been 15 years since the first phase of WISIS and the adoption of the Geneva Plan of Action. Uh, we've come a long way, but there's still a lot of work left to do. Exactly. It has been, as you said, 15 years. And 15 years ago, we had 173 member states that gathered here in Geneva. And they came together to chart uh, a roadmap to create an information society for all. And looking back over the past 15 years, yes, there's been tremendous achievements in technology and in connectivity. But the plan of action that was set out back in 2003 has not yet been achieved. So as we look forward, and we look forward to the Agenda 2030 and the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, we have lots to do. We still need to get the other half of the world's population to be accessing and, and using the internet. And what do you think have been the main hurdles to achieve your targets? So some of the hurdles are um, remain around, I would say, the issue of affordability. So costs still remain, in many cases, prohibitively, prohibitively high. Um, there's also continued security concerns. Back in 2003, the issue of confidence and security in ICTs uh, was a noted concern. And over time, and connecting more people, the, that security concern ha has grown. Uh, so that remains a, a big issue to tackle. Uh, we've also failed to create an information society that is gender balanced. Uh, we have a very big digital gender gap that still prevails today. So we need to zoom in on that and try to try to try to tackle that. And we've also not been able to achieve some of our connectivity targets around connecting all the world's schools, uh, connecting all the world's hospitals. Uh, so we really do have, have a long way to go, but I think one, one important message from the WISIS Forum this year was that there's lots of things happening that can move the needle. And so my personal feeling was there's a big spirit of, of optimism. Uh, and so I myself am very optimistic that we can achieve an information society for all. So how do you see WISIS Forum evolving in the next few years? Well, this year was quite an impressive turnout. We had some 2,600 or so uh, participants registered. Uh, I think we covered uh, the full spectrum of, of topics. We had amazing uh, projects um, in rural villages, uh, amazing, amazing things being done by civil society, by governments, private sector. Uh, and I think that that will continue, will continue to grow. Uh, what people come here to see are, are solutions, uh, connectivity solutions that they can then bring back home. Uh, and I think everyone learned lots this week and, and I think they will continue to do so in, in future iterations of the WISIS Forum. Some events or some highlights of the WISIS Forum, like the Hackathon, for instance, are real success stories. It was only introduced two years ago, wasn't it? And, uh, and people really appreciate it, don't they? Absolutely. Uh, and the energy and uh, just the whole ambiance and spirit amongst those that were participating was really uh, incredible. Um, and, and as you know, the, uh, the winners from Jamaica, um, they zoomed in on what can you do to, to hack, uh, hack hunger. Um, so I think the, the hackathon's been a great addition. It's been a great way for us to engage with younger audiences. Um, they know how to solve the world's greatest challenges and problems, uh, and we will continue to do that in the future. Fantastic. Thank you mm -hmm. very much. Thank you.